Hey there, friends. Happy Sunday. Hope you guys are having an enjoyable and relaxing weekend. I, oh my gosh, it feels so good to be at home today and have the entire day to just do whatever we want to do. So we've actually been enjoying each other's company. We had a pancake breakfast together this morning and um, where we did homework and the kids are getting ready to go to school tomorrow. And it's just been like a great day where we can get our life back on track, you know, laundry, all of that good stuff. But I wanted to hop in here because I was reading like I do every single morning. It's part of my morning routine is to just spend some quiet time in reflection and devotion and just really kind of get my mindset um, in the right place for the week ahead. And I wanna share with you this book that I am reading. Hey there, from New Mexico. Hi guys. Hi Katie, hope you're feeling better. Um, and this is the book that I'm reading. So I really, like a goal of mine is to read 12 books this year, one book a month. And for me, that's hard because I'm not a very good fast reader, I should say. Um, I get distracted easily. So this is the book that I'm reading right now. It is called There's No Plan B for your A game. And the author is Bo Eason. And I've had this book sitting on my shelf for a few months now. And I finally decided that I was going to pull it out. And this was going to be the book that I was going to read in January. And Bo Eason, if you aren't familiar with him, he played uh, in the NFL. He is now a professional speaker. He spent some time acting. And I just really am loving the ve the beginning part of this book. And I want to talk to you guys about just the way that you treat your life and the people you surround yourself with. So as I'm reading this book, number one, I'm going to myself, oh my gosh, like I know why I've achieved the level of success that I've been able to achieve in my life. It was 100% mindset. But that also tells me that 100% of the reasons why people don't succeed is their mindset. It actually has nothing to do with natural ability or talent, but it has everything to do with your mindset. And when you set out to accomplish something in life and you basically commit yourself to that goal and you live and breathe and eat and sleep that goal, you eventually are going to outlast the competition. You are going to, you know, you're gonna beat anybody that has natural talent. And this is really the formula and the recipe that I teach my children, even to this day. So, you know, there's no plan B to your A game. The first story that he told in there was about how his dad every single day told him that he was the best. He was the best at everything he does. He was the best. He could be the best at anything he wanted to do, but that he had to show up and be willing to do the work. And my mom and dad both throughout my entire life said to me, Melanie, you can be whatever you wanna be. You can do whatever you wanna do. You can accomplish all of your dreams, but you have to be willing to work hard for the things that you want. That nothing is gonna be given to you. Nothing is guaranteed. And it doesn't matter if you are naturally talented, you're gonna to have to work hard for what you want. And so I grew up with that mindset of everything is achievable, but you have to be willing to do the work. And so what I wanna ask you right now is, if you're listening to this live, ask yourself, like, do I actually believe that anything I want is possible? Do I believe that even if I don't possess the ability to build a business, I could actually build a business? Or if I don't possess the ability to go out there and get that promotion I want right now because I'm not qualified, could I be so committed to get it to learning the skills that I need and doing the things I need to do on a daily basis so that I can get that promotion? And so it's this flip of a switch where we begin to say to ourselves, what are the things that I need to do in order to become the person that I want to become? And then the next thing that I thought was just incredibly powerful is that he real like throughout his life, he always wanted to be an NFL player and he wasn't really that great at football and he didn't get drafted into the NFL right away and it took him quite some time. But throughout his college, he was devoted to exercising and training and practicing and showing up and even if he didn't get a spot on the team and they gave him like an ugly old practice jersey to wear and he could pretend like he was on the team, he still showed up as if he was on the team until the till the fact that he became a part of the team and he became drafted to the NFL. 
And his roommates, uh, the three out of the four roommates that he had, also were drafted to the NFL as starting quarterbacks. And so the one thing that you realize in that story is that in close proximity to people that are motivated and inspiring and have a plan and are going somewhere and are leveling up their life, you are more likely to succeed. And so I've got to say to you, why, who are you surrounding yourself with right now? If you have big dreams and big ambitions, are you surrounding yourselves with the dream killers? The people that don't support your dreams, the people that are, you know, putting you down, that aren't lifting you up. Are you running with a circle of friends that isn't rooting for you and cheering for you? And and I got to say, that's totally in your control. And when I started my business in 2011, I, st- I began to really lean into professional and personal development. I started finding myself gravitating towards people that had big ambitions, that had big goals. I started putting myself in circles where I felt uncomfortable. So the top leaders in the industry, I started listening to everything that they were doing and asking questions. And the more I surrounded myself with those people, the more I leveled up, the more I became somebody that dreamed bigger. And it wasn't that I told people I wasn't going to be friends with them. I just naturally began to put distance between the people that didn't have positive vibes that weren't going somewhere. And I want to challenge each and every one of you that are listening today to say, what's my circle like and who am I spending time with? And I really truly believe that's why Beachbody coaching for me in my life has made such a big impact is because I'm in community with people every day that care about their health and fitness. It's my job to live a healthy and fulfilling life. And so I'm always the example. And because I'm in that community, I'm surrounded with those people. I'm always leveling up. I'm surrounding myself with people every single day that are dreaming bigger than I dream. And I don't ever look at that as intimidation. I always want to know what can I learn more of. But the thing is, is if you're standing in your own way and you're comparing yourself to other people and saying, well, I could never do what he or she does, then you're going to continue to find yourself, you know, making excuses and falling back on that plan B and saying it's not possible for me and oh, lucky for you. And I want you to know I came to the table with less skills than maybe even some of you have. You may even have more friends on social media than I had when I started. I didn't even have an Instagram account. I had less than 100 friends on Facebook. I didn't have any sort of business background or marketing. And But what I did have was this ability to be excellent at coaching. I had this ability to be excellent at my health and fitness goals. I had the ability to absolutely put my head down and say, what is my A plan going to be? Because there is no B plan and I'm I'm not even going to go there. And so as you step into your truth and who you want to be and you make these vision boards and you write out your goals for 2020, I want you to get this book and say to yourself, like, it's possible for me too. But am I willing to do the work? Am I willing to do the work that needs to happen in order to get to where I want to be? All right? So, you guys, this is my message for you guys today. Um, Surround yourself with great people. Get your mindset in the right place. Make sure that you have that belief first because it doesn't matter how many accolades or, or trainings you do. If you don't have that belief in yourself, you'll always be where you're at currently. All right, you guys, I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for checking out my live video today. I hope you have a good Sunday and I will see you guys soon. Bye, everybody.